you might look at the way that the people of Allah live their lives with Allah and you might feel a little bit intimidated. You look at the hadith corpus that we have, the really heavy hadiths that the imams speak about the journey to Allah and you might feel intimidated. Imam al-Askari alayhi salam, he says that إِنَّ الْوُصُولِ إِلَى اللَّهِ سَفَرِ he says that reaching Allah, one must travel. They must move from the place that they are in to another place. Imam Sajjad salam, in the dua, he says, Al-Rahilu ilayka qaribul masafa. He says that the one who travels to you is close to you in proximity. Al-Rahil. Al-Rahil is more than a musafir. A musafir is a traveler. Al-Rahil is the one who travels but doesn't come back home. He goes. He leaves. So here, the one who leaves and travels to Allah, it sounds like a very mystical journey and it might sound a little bit scary. We might feel intimidated. We don't know where to start on this journey. So we ask Allah, how do we do this? Do you expect us to sit in a cave and meditate from night till morning? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no, I'll give you an easy way out of this. You can come to me, you can travel to me in short time frames throughout your day, in what we know as Salat, the five daily prayers that we're supposed to pray and connect to Allah in a way that eventually, because prayer is an art form, we're supposed to always improve and get better at our prayer. It's a life skill that we're supposed to be getting at always, getting better at. We're supposed to connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much that we implement the teaching of the Prophet when he says, Al-Salat Ma'raj Al-Mu'min. The Salat is the Ma'raj of the believer. It's the ascension of the believer. The same way that the Prophet went on an ascension, ascension journey. We're supposed to be going on a journey when we're praying. But guess what? Most of us don't know how to do that. A lot of us unfortunately get stuck. If we're praying the same way right now as we did 10 years ago, if in 10 years we're praying the same way as we do now, we've wasted 10 years of our lives. We're supposed to always be improving in our prayer. But God knows that too. And because He's so merciful to us, He's given us an even easier way to travel to Him. So all this traveling to Allah doesn't have to happen through meditation from morning to night. It does not have to happen through even our five daily prayers. Allah says that He's given us the power of this travel, of the five prayers in one golden sentence, one dua, the most powerful and the most special and the most efficient dua is one sentence. And you underestimate this one sentence very often. If we're to ask what is the most powerful dua, people think maybe dua Kumail, people think maybe dua Jawshan al-Kabir, people think of all the different duas they recite on Laylatul Qadr, but actually the greatest and most powerful dua is one sentence, this golden sentence, this underestimated sentence, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. That is a dua and that is the golden sentence of Islam. When they asked Imam Salaam, what's the best dua to recite before I leave my house? He says, Salawat. That is the dua, every prayer, is covered from the sky. Mahjub an is sama. Hatta yusalli maru ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. To pray upon, to pray to Allah for him to send his blessings and shower. Rasulullah and his family and his progeny, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. That is the greatest prayer that you can make. Any prayer that you send up to the sky, that you send into the heavens, it is shielded from the heavens. It is just a shell without the fruit. It is just a layer until you recite salawat and it gives it its wings in order to reach heaven. Salawat is the most powerful dua and prayer. If one takes a moment, if you stop yourself for a moment and you sit there with a sincere sound heart and a pure intention, and you give all of yourself into reciting the salawat, which takes you 10 seconds, that is the best prayer that you can make. That's how graceful Allah is to us, that He made it so easy for us. 
and we underestimate how powerful these prayers are. So the next time you feel like you are wavering or that you're about to transgress, take a moment and challenge yourself. Take a moment and before you're about to sin, just say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad and see if you can still sin. That prayer will protect you from your own self. It will increase your willpower and devotion to God and you won't sin. Believe me, with a sincere heart, if you recite that prayer, you won't sin. And I don't want to provoke you into trying it. I don't want you to sin. But if you find yourself in that predicament, recite that. Know that to go to Allah, you need to travel. But you can travel to Allah with one sentence. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad.